Yes. When I was a child, so I was always reading, you know, reading about science, reading about technology, trying to, you know, learn how things work, how things function. I think my life experiences fueled those research interests. Witnessing how the carceral system can impact black communities in particular, I wanted to learn more about how we can change these systems. You know, it was in my junior year of undergrad when I um, got involved in a community-based organization called the Social Justice Learning Institute. And it was at that point that I got involved in community organizing. It's about flipping who is the expert. Because now the community is the expert. We are the experts in our experience and if we have the proper tools, the proper access, and the proper engagement, we can do this research together to collectively change our condition. So I was a part of this campaign called The People's Budget. This campaign was a community-based um, participatory budgeting process where people in the community got the chance to determine, well, what are the things that we want to invest in? What are the things that we want to see fit? Because data is the collective story that we tell together. When we asked people if they wanted to invest in law enforcement, 1.6% said we need to make sure that we put money into law enforcement. And my role in that presentation was to take the data and to clean that up and to present it in a way that was accessible and very clear to the people of Los Angeles to say, well, look, this is what the people actually want. How is it that this is what the people want to invest in and then this is what the people don't want to invest in, yet these are the things that get cut first? That presentation had led to a countywide initiative to take 10% of unrestricted revenue from the county's revenue sources and then put it towards racial justice initiatives. Now we're able to invest money directly into the communities who are impacted right by poverty, by violence, and by all these other things that communities are impacted by. And it was at that moment where I fundamentally knew that we were doing good work, that we were doing things that mattered, that we were saving lives. <laughs>